I have known you for many years, and I've never seen you in anything other than gray and white, black shoes, uh, shorts in the summer mm -hmm. or spring. Um, does that make packing easier? <laughs> it makes packing really easy. <laughs> no, I mean, for me, packing is, you know, it's a couple gray suits and um, white shirts. It's very easy. What about Paris? Because obviously you go there a lot for work. Mm -hmm. Do you have any special things you like to do when you're there? There's always Caviar Caspia, which is oh. always a guilty pleasure. I love Le Voltaire. Me too. Um, and then Benoit. Mm. Chez Benoit. You also love uh, a place called Villa d'Este in Lake Como. You go there quite frequently, don't you? That is probably the most special place for me and Andrew. And why? It's Villa d'Este. Um, uh, just because it's the Villa d'Este. And it's, I think Lake Como is one of the most beautiful spots in the world. Um, you are inspired uh, a lot by your travels, mm -hmm. and in particular, uh, Japan holds a special place for you, right? Why is that? I think one of my biggest references that I use in my collections is real people. And, you know, when I travel, I love sitting in the airports. I love um, just observing how people put themselves together. And for me, that last collection was, it was almost like an homage to the Japanese and how they appreciate their approach to everything. Do you have any special things you like to do when you're there? I'm not always the most adventuresome traveler, um, I must admit, but I do love, you know, just staying in a nice hotel. I love room service. <laughs> So um, do I. I love my traditional drink at 6.30, 7 o'clock, so... And what is that drink? It's always champagne. Uh, yeah, me too. Tom, thank you so much. Thank you.